This video is brought to you by Robinhood, the free and easy to use investment and trading brokerage. Robinhood allows you to trade and buy stocks, ETFs, bonds, and cryptocurrencies completely free. Also, if you download using the link in the description below, you'll get one free stock valued up to $200 just for signing up. No, you don't have to deposit a dime and you can become instantly a part owner in companies like Microsoft, Walmart, McDonald's, or Disney just by getting lucky. So download Robinhood today and start to taking advantage of this historic 2020 stock market crash no that's not my full portfolio you guys aren't ready for that just yet what's up youtube capital g here got an awesome back and forth duel for you guys to check out there ain't gonna be no break my boards not in this duel anyways if you guys do like seeing these duels just do me a favor and give the video a thumbs up that way youtube shows the video to other people and at a time where uh, ain't none of us youtubers making any money because ad revenues in the tank i definitely appreciate that anyways let's go ahead and roll this you guys can see well i guess we got some uh interesting takes on some of these decks this is a mech knight variant believe it or not uh you see the righty and lefty driver i think these things are mainly just good for well no they're good for a couple of things not just hal firebrax but then you can also go into uh like i guess synchro level threes but no one really does that then we have zodiac featuring some metaphos there is some natural synergy with there because you of course can blow up things like tenki with the metaphor cards you can also blow up ram ram with the metaphor cards and those can be ways of making advantage this is something i see in my duels and i just don't understand it all you zodiac players stop doing this these people summon dryden in attack mode i just don't get it uh dryden is 400 attack 2000 defense what purpose does it serve in attack mode i don't think dryden should almost ever be in attack mode there are certain situations where you get a bunch of materials but for the most part like 75 percent of the time she should be in defense mode anyways let's mosey on to uh the other player's turn he's gonna go with the impermanence and um he does have enough cards in those columns to summon that blue sky and i think he's actually gonna get a couple of searches off of that the one card hella fibrax konami get this card out of the game that means uh pretty easy Easy play and we might we might see an appaloosa i mean it's gonna be negation but they this deck can kind of play around it so it's gonna banish the purple nightfall and then also go for the appaloosa go for the mech knight uh, link monster and this is actually a really good kind of soft lock now you can argue it's a little un, a little redundant but when you get world legacy secrets and then you also have like your uh, mech knight indigo it's a really cool combo because when your opponent tries to activate monster effects in any column where a mech knight is you just negate that effect and then obviously this guy can constantly just shift your mech knights around move them in the different columns and you can just constantly negate monster effects it's a little redundant because you already have appaloosa but you know no harm no foul you no one ever lost a duel because they got too much negation anyways you're seeing the tinky pops here and some of the uh plays with the metaphos where the metapho used the zodiac cards and then you're gonna see double metaphos counter i saw that in uh, some of the yang zing metaphos duels that's gonna bust out two metapho or yeah two metapho monsters and going for the odd eyes exceed that's pretty good usually odd eyes absolute is only useful for going into uh like vortex dragon but in this tool it's actually a beater you're seeing the negation come in here going to activate the zodiac trap card the zodiac dryden just to get a draw and now we're going to see a pendulum summon zodiac dryden will be used again to try to pop but nope uh indigo is just going to move it here and then it's going to be negated so uh that's not going to work at this point it would have been i think what the zodiac player was going to go for i think they were going because they had three xc monsters on field i think they were going to go for mega clops and i think that the mech knight player realized that and realized mega clops might beat me so i better go ahead and use nibiru keep in mind mega clops is actually like it's immune to nibiru it's unaffected by non xc monsters so if you let them mega clops you nibiru ain't gonna do jack against it and nibiru is not big enough to beat over the mega clops so that is uh you know i'll play that works now interestingly enough uh <laughs> since the odd eyes absolute dragon went to the graveyard it does summon vortex and he opts to bounce the uh the nibiru back to the opponent's hand like i don't know if that's a good play or if that's a bad play <laughs> it wasn't like i mean nibiru couldn't attack over either monster so that was a little weird anyways mech knight indigo or purple nightfall is going to be uh that's going to be destroyed uh ip mask arena is another play you know that's another good play for righty and lefty driver i guess you could say Okay. 
Now, it looks like the Mech Knight player is going to go on the assault. They ended up destroying the Metaphos Fusion, and that was a problem, but they're going to also end with uh, Astrum. So, Astrum, I, I still think, is like one of the most difficult cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! to get off the field because you got to have that non-targeting removal. They're going to go, he go ahead and negate the Bio Baboon, but the thing is, this is another card that excels in Metaphos because you just use your scales, you blow it up, and then you get two more copies of it from your deck, and then you can do whatever you want. People used to go into things like MX Saber Invoker when it was still legal, and that would be like really strong, but you can still go into like some XC plays. Uh, it's not a lot of XC monsters that don't target, so getting this guy off the field is going to be difficult. We're going to see the full metal, <laughs> full metal foes Alkahest. <laughs> Anytime I see that name, I think of uh, the anime, of course. It will be uh, negated, so it just didn't do <laughs> anything. <laughs> I think I forgot that this is also a Mech Knight monster. You see Ashram and you're like, oh, Cap, it's just a big link. But no, dude, it's still a Mech Knight. So the negation for the monster effect is still there. Anyways, called by the grave on the Zodiac Ram Ram. We'll stop that from activating, but the good thing about this Metaphor deck is half of the deck is still Pendulum-based. So if you're in a position where your opponent's just kicking your butt and you can't really mount them, you can at least just stall and keep your monsters, like just keep Pendulum summoning. That's one of the good things about the Pendulum mechanic, even after it's been nerfed. The fact is you can still just Pendulum your monsters and use them as jump blockers. They can just kind of stall the game out until your, op your opponent starts going after those, uh, you know, Pendulum scales. Anyways, two monsters are taking attacks righty lefty driver hits the field for like the 15th time and link karibo is going to be the play we're going to see another big pendulum summon and i think that uh no, i'm not sure if the metaphor player is ready to really try to mount a comeback pot of avarice is definitely going to help i think that's one of the biggest aces that zodiac got not just trying it coming back but pot of avarice at three allows you to just constantly recycle your deck two copies of metaphos mithrium is finally going to go after the world legacy secrets but don't be surprised if that accomplishes nothing. <laughs> they just reset it and say, okay, Kappa, like, what are you doing? You're just, you're just gonna let me reset it, and uh, that didn't do anything. Actually, it's worse because they get the Monster Reborn effect back online. So you really actually hurt yourself by bouncing this card. It's not just that the uh, Skill Drain type effect is still online, but the Monster Reborn effect, uh, you, gave, you gave them that back again. Anyways, another Pot of Avarice. As I was just talking about, you're going to always run multiple copies of Avarice in these Zodiac builds. Gets another draw from Metaphos Fusion. And now they're finally going to be able to try to mount this board. Going for a couple of Zodiacs. And this is what's one of the great things about Zodiac. Uh, you can go, you can summon Dryden's, right? Organically. You can pop one of your opponent's cards. Then you can go into Mega Claps, Reborn the Dryden, and pop another card. It's actually like a crazy amount of pluses in that play. So going to pop the Mech Knight. Opponent will activate the call to Haunted effect. That's perfectly fine. And now going to go into Mega Clops. We'll actually, this is cool, we'll actually trigger the Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon as well. So they're going to get a Vortex Negation, assuming they have another one. They probably put it back. I mean, they've averaged twice. There's the Vortex for the Link Karibo. And now you're seeing the play that I was talking about where you bring back the Dryden's. Uh, it, it sucks that the last card on field, the, uh, you know, Crusadia Astrum, it can't be targeted, but you can still get rid of this. You can just run it over with uh, Mega Clops, Mega Chops tries to activate the effect. You go ahead and negate that. Even though it was protected from destruction with IP Mask Arena, it's fine because it still dies by battle. And then it obviously is going to spin something back. So he does lose that disruption, but it is what it is. You at least took it down. Now, would you be surprised if uh, this player at the top can still actually get rid of this board? I don't know if I would have used the Zodiac Dryden, considering it's my only disruption here. I don't think I would have used it this early because what is a Purple Nightfall really going to do? That was probably a mistake, honestly. But, uh, you know, they didn't see it coming. And uh, I don't think that they saw this coming. Gonna go for that Galaxy Soldier and then into another Galaxy Soldier. We're gonna go for Cyber Dragon Infinity. And guess what? It just so happens to be an XC monster, which means it can out the Mega Clops. Now, most decks don't have the ability to go into XC monster that can just easily take Mega Clops off the field because who the heck plays things like Castell anymore? But uh, Cyber Dragons and I guess decks that run like, uh, you know, Galaxy Soldier 
or any of these level five machine type monsters or these level five light monsters like they can definitely do it and you know just suck up the mega clops and end up getting a gg i feel like there may have been some misplays when it comes to the zodiac the i was gonna say zodiac cyber dragon the zodiac metapho player anyways we'll pause for a quick second and we'll check out what this deck looks like so this is what the build looks like on paper you saw this deck see a little bit of play during the art v era although uh when the zodiac xc monsters like dry and broad bull ended up getting hit you didn't really see the deck all that much anymore after that i feel like um pure zodiac is probably better i'm not really sure i mean i, I get the synergy the synergy is definitely there but i'm not really sure how how high like the ceiling is of this deck if it really makes it better i mean don't get me wrong there are some cool plays you know we saw with like the odd eyes absolute dragon and this gives zodiac the potential of making like vortex dragon easily which gives you hard negation but i'm not really sure it's worth running like all the the potential bricks sometimes of the metaphor cards because i feel like the metaphor fusion engine isn't very powerful anymore we saw mithrium hit the field didn't really do anything alkahes hit the field didn't really do all that much if you're playing just pure zodiacs although they don't actually have negation anymore they do have the ability to run like i don't know 15 plus hand traps and uh, those hand traps not only can just stop the opponent but then the hand traps also are like easily uh, easily recyclable with pot of avarice they kind of fuel your pot of avarice and zodiac much like sky striker is a deck where avarice just makes a lot of sense because you're burning through so much of your extra deck every single turn anyways so personally i would just rather play pure zodiac i feel like it's a better more complete deck but this at least does give you an alternative for that anyways it'll be in the description below thank you guys for watching as always smash that thumbs up so that uh you know youtube shows this to somebody who isn't just you and for the youtube algorithm thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos